I want to talk to you a little bit about what autoimmune diseases are. And I'm very concerned about the number of animals that are getting cancer and autoimmune problems. And what veterinarians focus on when we talk about all these issues about what, what animals are getting. And I've been practicing since 1978 and I worked in the veterinary field before that. We never saw cancer like we see now. 46% of animals are getting cancer. So when I try to explain to my veterinary friends and to my clients, you know, what is the big elephant in the room? What is the big picture that we are looking at? The big picture is autoimmune and cancer. So if we take this wall, and I want to take a look at this whole wall here, and we look at this whole wall, and we figure out what in this wall represents animals' diseases. So from this point to the edge of the wall, is autoimmune and cancer problems that we see in animals. It's 46% of dogs are getting cancer and then there's autoimmune problems. This section of the wall is like skin problems and ear problems and you know maybe Lyme or, or, problem, or that type of issue. Over here are hit by cars and orthopedic problems and, and you know nail infections and things like that that are on this side that are more surgical applications and stuff. But the big piece of the picture is from here over here. So when we talk about distemper in an animal that has been vaccinated at least once as an older puppy, where is distemper on this wall? It's not even in the wall. It's outside the room. It's not even in this room. And parvo, the same thing. It's outside the room. So every year that your dog gets these vaccinations, we are vaccinating for a disease that's not even in the room. But we have to do that every year, and that's part of the, the, the confusion that we see is that we're spending all this time on diseases that we don't see, and the elephant in the room is half the room has got cancer and autoimmune disease. If we look at leptospirosis, where on this room is leptospirosis? It may be all the way over into this corner, into that room. That's in the realm of what we see as veterinarians that's the number of cases of leptospirosis is up here. So my concern is from this point over, is how much we can do for the immune system to hopefully keep that cancer from starting. So when we feed healthier and we use less pesticides and we give less vaccinations, our chances of keeping the immune system stronger seem so logical because those are contributing to a, a, a weakening of the system. So animals that get vaccinations as puppies and they still have titers, they don't need to be vaccinated and vaccinated and vaccinated and vaccinated every single year. Sometimes I get medical records in that have you know, 80 vaccinations and the dog has cancer, uh, doesn't have distemper and leptospirosis. And I have dogs that don't get vaccinations that, that have no you know, distemper and parvo either. And they have high titers for them. So th this whole idea of, of saying that you know, giving a vaccine is preventing a particular disease. The big picture is from here to the wall, which is cancer and autoimmune problems. And I, I have to, you know, say that as a veterinary profession, I love my profession. I think we have one of the most amazing professions uh, of that, it, that someone can go into. But we need to look at the big picture. We need to examine why animals are getting so much cancer and so many autoimmune problems.